Hello, and welcome to our CourseX's first open course on instructional ideas and technology tools for online success. This is Gerald Jonas, Director of CourseX, and I wanted to provide a brief course tour for each of you to ensure a successful learning experience. Before we begin, I just wanted to go ahead and acknowledge and thank Dr. Curtis Bonk for all of his time and research that he'll be sharing with us. As you can see here, I'm logged in as a course participant. And as we take a look at the menu, it's been categorized just to ensure you can find the information and tools that you need very easily. As you come into the course, each time you'll land on the welcome page. And there'll be, as we scroll down, you can see there'll be a series of links to help get you to the area of the class that you need the most at that time. If you're new to the class, use this link to go ahead and begin reviewing the orientation and overview. As you return to the class, after the first time, you can use this link to access the current week's information. And then lastly, you can use the link here to see what's happened, what's changed since the last time you visited us. If we pause here just to take a quick look at the course schedule, you'll see that beginning Monday, April 23rd, our registration and orientation period will begin. During this time, we definitely encourage you to uh, access that overview area, introduce yourself to one another, and review the environment. Beginning on Monday, April 30th, the course will actually commence and then conclude on Sunday, June 3rd. During each of these weeks, we will provide a live event on the topic listed here. That event will last for two hours in which Dr. Bach or the Course Heights team will provide a presentation for the first hour and then a longer Q&A session at the end. During week four, we've gone ahead and saved this just as a general Q&A session. So there, there will be quite a bit of information uh, to re that you'll be learning just to go ahead and have access to Dr. Bonk and, and uh, be able to share your questions with him during that time. If you aren't able to join us for the live sessions, as we know, uh, some of your schedules uh, may not allow so, but we will post the recordings so that you can review on your own time. So if we take a look at some of these areas in more depth, let's start with the orientation and overview. Here again, you can access the course overview to look at the description and uh, the objectives, the schedule and structure on how you might be able to earn a badge as part of this experience, to take a look at the open and social learning conventions we've established, and how to set up your mobile device to access the course. Importantly, we want to hear from you and learn more about you as well. So we provided a discussion, an introductory discussion activity to go ahead and uh, introduce yourself as well as share your personal learning objectives and what you hope to gain from the course. If you're not familiar with course sites as a learning environment, particularly as a participant, please feel free to review the modules here to see how to best navigate the environment, how to use the discussion blog and wiki tools, and set up your computer to ensure success. If we take a look at that updated area here, the course updates link is, link is going to lead us to a what's new area. Again, letting us know what's changed since the last time we may have visited the course. In particular, you can expand each area to see what's new, such as the content items that have been added since you've last been here, or perhaps the discussion board posts. As the blogs and wiki tools are, are become more in use, you'll see these areas added there as well. Feel free to look at the announcements as we uh, post them and use the more announcements to see the ones beyond seven days. Or look at seeing what's happening in each of the calendar events. We're also collecting some external information here to try to keep you updated and posted here, particularly with the Course Size blog that we've recently launched. And then we're also pulling in the Twitter feed using the hashtag blog open that we hope you will use when you tweet about the course. And this way you can see a history of all the tweets that have gone on and, and share what we've learned. When we take a look at the weekly areas under Explore, Discover, and Learn, you'll see this is where you'll access information related to the topic on hand. There might be an article to review or perhaps a video to watch. This is where you launch and the platform to attend the live event or where you can access the recording. Importantly, again, this is more than just a one-way uh, push of information. We want to go ahead and ensure that we all share ideas and resources and our reactions to the models and information that Dr. Bach will be pre presenting. So we encourage you to go ahead and address some of the questions or post some of your own thoughts here in the discussion board. We've provided each of you with a blog to go ahead and share your perspectives, if that's an option or a preference for you. 
And then each week we'll ask to see if you will contribute to a wiki to go ahead and help us generate a list of ideas and resources. As we mentioned earlier, you have the ability to earn a badge as part of your experience for the course. So during in each week, go ahead and look for the earn a badge requirements and mark them as reviewed as you go ahead and complete the requirements. As you do complete all of the requirements, a badge will be presented for you for uh, download here in the Earn a Badge section. The Connect and Collaborate section is sec provides secondary access to the discussion blog and wiki tools that we'll be utilizing. If we take a look at the discussion board here, you'll see that there will be the weekly areas and orientation areas to go ahead and get started and post your questions and thoughts. But there's also a general questions form that we encourage you to enter your questions that we'll be monitoring on a daily basis. If you do have questions that are more related to the content, please go ahead and enter those in the weekly area. And we'll forward those to Dr. Bonk to address during the live sessions, as well as during week four again, which is a longer Q&A session. Okay, so again, each of you are provided with a blog here in the course environment. In case you have one of your own, you're more than welcome to utilize uh, that as well. If you do, please feel free to share the link to your blog as well as your Twitter handle here on the wikis that we provided. And again, you'll see the weekly collaboration wiki that we'll be using to help generate that list of ideas and resources. In the case that you need support during your experience, please feel free to contact support. You'll see that you're able to submit a ticket at any time of day or you can initiate a chat or phone a live rep here at the times that we uh, have listed. In the case that you need to contact us too, and just for general questions, you also have the ability to email the course leads here. So feel free to go ahead and send your question and then we'll get back to you individually that way. I want to thank you once again for joining our course and I look forward to working and hearing from each of you. And I look forward to uh, providing for you a, a dynamic uh, learning environment along with Dr. Bach.